let's now turn attention to the Russian offensive against Ukraine, which enters its 240th day. Governor of Zaporizhia, Alexander Starok, says three people have been injured in attacks by S-300 missiles on the city early today. I will have more in this report. According to the governor, the missiles destroyed residential buildings, schools, gas stations and government facilities in the city while three persons were wounded in the attack. Ukrainian Foreign Minister Mr. Dmitry Kuleba has also discussed Kyiv's request for air and missile defense systems with Israel. Mr. Kuleba spoke to Israeli Prime Minister Mr. Yari Lapid to inform him of the unspeakable sufferings, loss of life and destructions caused by Russian missiles and Iranian-made drones. The leaders also discussed Ukraine's request for Israel to provide air and missile defense systems and technology to aid their defense against Russia's military. Israel used the opportunity in condemning Russia's invasion of Ukraine, saying it has not supplied Kyiv with weapons. In light of this potentially dangerous engagement, I have communicated my concerns directly to my Russian counterpart, Defense Minister Shoigu, and the Chief of Defense Staff in uh, Moscow, and, and has done so, my colleague, the Chief of Defence Staff, has also communicated his concerns. I think it was important that there was this debate that was decided on Monday to have uh, such a discussion. At the end of the day, we need to ask ourselves, a country that bombs uh, indiscriminately civilians, uh, women and children, anybody going about their lives, going to school, going to work, I would call that terrorism. In the meantime, UK Defence Secretary Mr. Ben Wallis has condemned Russian fighter jets' interjection of RAV aircraft while on patrol. On the flip side of things, Ukraine's President Mr. Volodymyr Zelensky is accusing Russia of planning to destroy a hydroelectric dam in the eastern Kherson region, while Ukrainian soldiers have been steadily advancing and Moscow-installed authorities have begun what they call evacuations of civilians. Mr. Zelensky also accused Moscow of planting mines at the dam in the Russian-occupied region, posing a threat to a 400-kilometer Soviet-built Long Canal network in that region.